Boosie went off on Diddy because he watched the tape and he knows that if he would have known where Diddy was after doing that, he would have went and handled him himself because that's not fair that it was Diddy versus Cassie. Like, how come Boosie wants to know how come Diddy doesn't want to do that when he, like, has to go toe-to-toe against another grown man? He wouldn't do it. And so this is why a lot of people, a lot of the celebrities and 50 Cent and Boosie included, they're speaking out against P. Diddy because they know for a fact that P. Diddy wouldn't have done this to some street dude. He wouldn't have did this to another person that he had beef with or problems with, especially Tupac, especially Biggie Smalls and then none of them. And for him to do it to Cassie, though, that's a new low. That's a new low. And this is why nobody feels sorry for P. Diddy. And where's the justice for Cassie? If y'all want to get justice for Cassie, put justice for Cassie in the comment section. Put the two two twos for Tupac and everything because a lot of times we see this already remember when the situation happened with Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion they were so quick to lock up Tory Lane but then now when it comes to Diddy and he did all this thing it's on footage it's a clear-cut case and everything but they still doing nothing to him and this is why Boosie and 50 Cent they're going after him they're sick and tired of hearing of all the things that P Diddy got away with because Boosie you got to understand Boosie had to do time for something way worse and for Diddy to be caught on camera Doing all this stuff, the lawsuits, $30 million later, after 13 years of being of Cassie having to put up with him over 10 years. 10 years is a long time to be with anybody. And Cassie had to deal with it and put up with this kind of act day in and day out. This is why a lot of people, they feel for Cassie now. They want to be able to make sure that Cassie gets the justice against Diddy because what he was doing to her all these years, he was wrong for that, man. He was totally wrong for that. And, and anybody that would have known we should have listened to Gene Deal we should have listened to all these people who try to warn us about Diddy but no everybody thought he was so cool he was so popular he was the producer dancing all up in the videos and everything like that and this is why now we understand this is why Suge Knight didn't like him and that Diddy had problems with all these people and the people that didn't do what Diddy asked him to do he always tried to sabotage them have something happen to them or try to ruin their reputation or something like that and now is being done to Diddy from all of his accusers from all of his victims because every single victim that had something that Diddy did to them we stand with them man we want to stand with the victims and get the justice for this because if Tupac was still here he would have made sure that there was justice served and that Diddy was held accountable for all of his actions Kim Porter never deserved anything like this Cassie never deserved to be treated like that Jennifer Lopez she was lucky to get out of it so quick because she knew knew that it was drama coming in she knew in her head something wasn't right and this was the reason why she left p diddy so early in their relationship was because of the fact that this was the same type of things that she seen coming she didn't want to end up like cassie nobody should want to end up like cassie and diddy he knows what he did diddy knows that he was basically making sure that nobody told on him and he was buying up the footage and making sure none of this stuff gets out and anything like that and this is the main reason why everybody feels like anytime like P. Diddy had all these connections and anytime something happened, he would try to make sure he sends the hush money, try to silence it, and ends up going into a, a settlement and everything. He's paying the millions of dollars and all that because he doesn't want this to come to the public. And now it finally has. Now everybody finally gets to see what this person is really like. What did all these people have to go through, man? R.I.P. to everybody from Tupac, Kim Porter, and Biggie Smalls because they had to deal with Diddy and the money and the fame, it got to his head. It made him think that he was unstoppable. It made him think he could get away with so many more things. And this is the reason why a lot of people, they change after they get some money. Diddy definitely changed. He's not the same kid from New York no more because 50 Cent, he knows what it's like. Like 50 Cent was basically trying never to change because of the money, because of this, because he watched Diddy and all of the people Diddy set up. And 50 Cent, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like the fact that Diddy got away with all of these things and he's trying to basically hold people against their will and trap them inside. Like Cassie never got to leave. 
And he was threatened. P. Diddy was threatened to fire anybody that told. And so 50 Cent knows what it's like to be a boss and have money and everything. And it's he said that it's not cool to basically tell your employees that you can't speak on certain situations, things that happen to you that's building up and they can't sleep at night because of the fact that what are the, the things that they seen P. Diddy doing? And Diddy was like, if you tell anybody you're fired, you're not going to have a job. You ain't going to be able to live nowhere. I'm going to make sure that nobody gives you a chance and 50 cent heard those stories and he talked to the victims and he's making the documentary and the movie about all this and they found out that yeah this is 50 cent he he wants to treat his workers better so that they don't end up having to go through the same thing that all the diddy's victims went through because nobody felt like they could go get help nobody felt like they could speak against him or else they'll be fired lose their job and then he'll tell everybody with all of his connections not to hire them no more and so that's what kept a lot of people away from pretty much exposing the whole entire thing that was happening at bad boys because bad boys it was like a whole group and if to be in it and for diddy to like you you had to do certain things in certain times and you had to go to all the after parties and everything and do whatever diddy said and a lot of these times man the things that diddy was having people do it was not cool this is what people were speaking out against mike tyson said that if he ever saw diddy face to face it would be lights out for him because he heard from gene deal he heard from all the cassie's people about what was really going on that you know what happened and Mike Tyson is best friends for, with Tupac. So when he heard that Diddy was the one responsible for putting a million dollars on Tupac's head, allegedly, and Keefe D talked about this, and Suge Knight, and everybody that was involved... Once Mike Tyson found out about that, man, he wanted to see Tupac in the streets. He says, if I ever seen him and it was mano y mano, one-on-one, -on -one, he would basically make sure that Diddy got, like, everything that he deserves from all the karma from everywhere else. Like, all the victims that he had, Diddy has a lot of karma on him. And this is why everything is happening to him. The federal indictments, the raids, the, the allegations, the accusations, the tapes being leaked, and the footage. And, and Puffy, he was trying to make sure none of that footage gets out he paid over a hundred thousand dollars to make sure the footage doesn't get out but somehow it got leaked because you know all the people that worked for diddy and in the past had something on him they had a lot of dirt on him and they were scared to come forward until cassie came forward and she won her lawsuit until keefe d started speaking out and then everybody started pointing the finger at p diddy for everything that he's done because they don't want to take the blame for it when diddy was the guy who paid for it all told him all what to do and it was all his idea and so once that started happening, the karma and everything started unraveling on P. Diddy. And now people are starting to see him for who he really is, man. I want to say R.I.P. to Kim Porter, Justice for Cassie, 222 for Tupac. Let me know where y'all from and what y'all think about P. Diddy and how this whole entire thing is going to go. Because we've been sitting back and we've been watching for a while. A lot of people have been waiting 28 years, 30 years for all of this. For them to finally be able to figure out who did this to Tupac. A lot of people have been sitting back and watching, like, seeing what happened to Cassie. Is she going to ever get justice? Because she had to do this for years and years, and she couldn't, she couldn't say nothing. So that $30 million that she got, it doesn't account to all of the suffering and everything that she went through. And she couldn't see her family. She missed birthdays. She missed graduations and all these different things, holidays, right? And it's all because it's Diddy's fault, man. And now... They're asking Keefe D to cooperate with the feds. They're asking for all of the victims of Diddy to pretty much give the statements and go forward to the prosecutor in the DA's office in Manhattan because they're about ready to go and take Diddy down. Now it's too far, too much for too long. He took it too far. He got away with too much, and he tried to rub it all in people's faces, and now it backfired on him, and you see exactly what's happening is what he basically is going to get, and this is a reason why people shouldn't be doing anything like this man y'all need to take care of your family get your generational wealth and make sure you on the straight and narrow you don't want to be doing nothing like diddy did because you ain't got the same wing to last as long as him and this is why he's still getting taken down after it's all said and done man i'm gonna catch y'all later peace